Okay, we're taking a look at a new light today. Um, literally just came in the mail. It's a Phoenix TA30. Um, comes in this package. Pretty much the same package as most of the Phoenix lights. Comes along with some information about some of their other lights and the warranty card. Um, also comes along with a small baggie that has um, some of the accessories for this light, uh, which are the lanyard, a couple extra O-rings, uh, soft rubber O-rings for the various parts of the light, and then uh, another rubber uh, thumb switch cover back here. Okay, so start off, it's pretty simple light. It's a three CR123s. Simply unscrew the, the back, which has the clicker in it. Insert the batteries. One, two, three. Screw that cover back down. This is where the smaller of the O-rings would be replaced if it ever gets dry rotted, but there's some lubricant on there. It looks like it'll last a while. Okay, now taking a look at the operation of the new Phoenix TA30. Uh, pretty simple. You've got the clicker in the back either momentary or with an audible and tactile click it's on um, it's got three different brightness settings a 9 a 60 and a 225 and then it's got a, a strobe which does 230 I'm not sure how all the strobe will work with the video it's very bright uh, it's a very decent speed for the strobe uh, it's a little quick but it's not too fast and definitely gets attention uh, the bright, super bright, um, really wish there was a way on digital cameras to show uh, the kind of reach that this thing gets. I was playing with it earlier this evening in a parking lot, a well-lit parking lot, and I was still able to throw a spotlight uh, from the light uh, across a, hmm, maybe three or four rows of parked cars into a build against a building and still see the light show up. Uh, really impressive. Uh, just out in the backyard, starry night in Arizona with a almost full moon. Um, I'm still getting a beam coming up like if this thing was a lightsaber. Really interesting, really, really fun to play with. Uh, the medium setting, um, 90 lumens, or works great. And the small 9 is just, again, what you might want for map reading or uh, walking without ruining your night vision. Um, it's got a crenulated bezel, uh, fairly aggressive. Um, I imagine that's pretty important though when you've got this thing cranked up to 220 lumens, 225 lumens, and you set that thing down. You definitely want to know it's on. Um, imagine this thing can probably burn itself out pretty quick. I can definitely feel some heat coming out of that, um, even at a pretty good distance. Um, so far, we've only had it literally a couple hours, uh, but so far, really impressed with it. Um, it says all over the box that it's impact resistant, so getting kind of looking forward to seeing what all it can actually do as far as impact resistance. Um, first got it and thought, well, it was pretty big. It's first thing I thought, first thing everybody sees says when they see this thing for the first time so far. Um, you know what, though, after playing with it a couple hours this evening, um, it's big, but it's there for a reason. It's got those three batteries and whatever they got going on to get this thing going to 225. You know, it's just, it really is a lightsaber. So uh, can you keep playing with it, give it a little abuse, and see how it goes. Okay, we're going to take a look at the TA30 from Phoenix. Just came in the mail. It's got a 9, a 60, and a 225 lumen power brightness along with a strobe that does 230. It's a nice light, three CR123 batteries. It's not little. Here's its first setting. You might be able to see that dot moving around. Moving in real close. Down at my feet. I have to try to watch my dog run around. I'm gonna click it to the next level. So this is the 60. Bringing it in close to my feet. And then we'll click it to the brightest level. And that's the 225. And now you can really watch my dog pee on the yard.
pretty decent light. Change the setting here. Low. So 960, 225. And then it'll do a strobe at 230. There's its strobe. Now I'm going to go from the strobe to the full 225. Yeah, that's a quick look at the TK30.